everybody. Beautiful day. It's about 6.30 a.m. Had a late night. Went around, what was that place we ate last night? Belmonte, something like that. Some really good seafood spot. We had, uh, I think I had some trout. She had some salmon, like some, some uh, shrimp paste rice. I don't know, it was delicious. We're gonna try to go up to see Christ the Redeemer today. I think it's gonna be a rainy weekend, but the weather says it's gonna be pretty clear until about one o'clock, so. And we kinda wanted to sleep in, but then we also wanna blow this beautiful sunset or sunrise. God damn. Can't waste any time right now. I'm pretty sure uh, the haste of case though. Right up there somewhere. I think we're just gonna hop in a cab and see if we can get there because then I think you gotta take like a little train or a trolley up to the top. I don't know, we gotta figure it out. So uh, let's get the steak going and see if we can get there before it starts raining. Let's go eat and then come back and get ready. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Show you guys the money real quick. It's pretty cool actually, I haven't really had a chance to look at it. Which I, I've been calling it Riaz, but actually it's called Hey Eyes. This is the way the R's pronounced, this is like an H. Hit these hundreds. Big old fish. We got a 50. Like a jaguar on it or a cheetah. A leopard. This is about $500 right here. But it looks like about three grand. Conversion rate's about one to five. So one US dollar is five pay high. So it makes it kind of simple. Every $100 bill is about 20 US dollars. It's just hard to kind of get in the, in the zone of remembering that. We thought it was gonna be a little cheaper, but last night we ended up spending quite a bit of money on drinks and dinner. Uh, the Belmont place was really nice, but it was about, technically, like, I, it's actually pretty cheap compared to like back home. I think it was seven, what'd you say it was, 70 bucks? Yeah. But we had like nice big old fish dinners, two of them. So it was actually probably a decent price. And then our place we're staying, that's the uh, Othon Palace, which is actually probably looks like one of the nicest places in the city with the highest stuff out of the whole uh, Copacabana Beach. And it was about a hundred bucks a night. So it really wasn't too much. It's kind of a dated place a little bit, but the view is totally worth it. Old mattress somehow. I don't even know how that got so messy, but we woke up wide awake at 6.30 in the morning. But then again, I didn't realize how dark it got here. It was dark by 5.30. Back home, it's light till nine o'clock at night. So we were thinking it was late as hell. So we thought we were you know, up till 2 a.m. and now it's like 10. It's about 10 o'clock by the time I actually went to bed. This view is totally worth it. It has a rooftop pool, rooftop bar, uh, all buffet breakfast. I know like Airbnb, you can get like one of these smaller little uh, apartments, probably 40 to 50. But it's always nice just having breakfast already ready to go. Rooftop pool, you know. And it's beautiful here though. Hey, we go. Spend some of this money. I'm trying to make it last all week. I'm sure we will. I think that Christ the Redeemer thing's probably about 30 bucks and I'm not really sure what everything else is gonna cost. How much did I spend last night? 200 bucks. On what? Tequila shots, tequila shots, tequila <laughs> shots. <laughs> Checking out the rooftop pool and uh, get a bar up here. It's pretty sweet. Got our first little free drink. First Caparina in Brazil. Pretty damn good. Hi, I'm beautiful. <laughs> this is the first video we made since we've been married. Got married on Saturday and didn't make I any make videos. Anyone, no. I yeah, I didn't want it to. I didn't want anybody to be the little 14-year-old among us. Took it off. Oh, that's a pretty sick view. It's a little windy, but it's a beautiful. You know, our wedding was turned out to be beautiful. Had a nice ceremony up on this little lake spot in Minnesota. I think everyone really had Yeah, everybody had a great time. We're going to take any videos, though, so maybe I'll throw some, some pictures at the end of this so you guys can check it out. But it turned out great. Had a beautiful time. And I was going to roam around Rio. I'm going to be here a couple days. Then we're going to go up to the Amazon. I'm going to drag her into the jungle, see some spiders, oh. see some snakes. She's pretty terrified. Let's go check out the beach. Enjoy the day. Let's go.
And we made it. Jesucristo. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get a picture of yourself because everybody else is also getting pictures of their self. So no matter what, you're going to have people in the pictures. <laughs> I'm walking in people's videos. I know. Hey, wait, what's that? Huh? Yeah, it is a bridge. Long ass, that's a really long bridge. It's a really cool view. Just prepare to uh, have a thousand people trying to take pic pictures and videos just like you are, so it's kind of impossible to get a good shot. Everyone's a model, too. I didn't come prepared. <laughs> no, it is really cool, though. Spectacular view. Are you ready? Head back on. We, we didn't get one for the Instagram. I ended up checking out Sugarloaf going up on this cable car. I saw Monkey in that little tree. Oh, well, this is pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> this was a little scary. <laughs> it's high up. Just makes me weak in their legs. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you just playing with your hair? <laughs> Need a beer. A couple Coronas up here. This is the Classico Sunset Club, which is actually. Actually, pretty awesome. We did the two cable rides all the way to the tip top. Tessie was kind of freaking out. A lot of freaking out. Yeah, it's kind of scary. It's because, uh, well, and then he, it's because it moves so much. And then he was telling me how he just read a story how one of the cables broke somewhere. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. I think it was a little story to be telling me right now. I'm scared her. But man, look at this view up here. Show you a little more when we walk to the front, but probably just sit this here. And I guess you can walk down there in this room around the little forest. We're gonna check that out. Mexicano place. He's been bugging me for tacos all yesterday and today. Came here earlier to close, came here again. Turns out it's just a delivery place. There's nowhere to eat it. So I think we're just gonna sit on the curb and eat some nachos and tacos. <laughs> but it's been kind of a rainy day. We took a took like a little hour nap, which we needed. We were up pretty late. Actually, we're not late, but it was a long night. We got up early this morning. Did a lot of pretty cool shit. Let's eat these tacos and hopefully they'll let us sneak under this door and eat at that little bar. We'll ask. Well, clearly it was pretty good. We had about eight of these tacos. Some nachos. Did you like it or weren't you satisfied? We kind of messed our order up. But we just found us a little spot to eat. I tried to bug her to actually let us come in there and eat, but she said no. So let's walk a little way. Let's find us a little... Cause park, yeah. But she gave us eight tacos and chips with no meat or nothing on it. Oh well, it's like twenty-five bucks, a little spendy. It's all right, they're pretty good. What do you want to do now? Walk on the beach. My mouth's on fire. Yeah, this was some, some spicy hot sauce. It's pretty good though. Gonna you know, walk on the beach. Fully clothed, shoes on, sweatshirt. This is as much beach action as we're gonna get, apparently. <laughs> yeah, if it's, if it's shitty again tomorrow. But it's warm, yeah. the water's warm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a warm day, so it's windy. Oh! Don't be behind! Get my shoes soaking, why I can't do that? 
Oh, it's a beautiful beach. It's huge. I like how it's all lit up too. Our hotel is clear down there. We took a cab down to that place. It's probably like a 10 minute drive. It's pretty cheap. Two bucks or three bucks or something like that. It's probably way too windy for you guys to hear me. See you at the hotel.